All right, this is unit one, lesson four, multiplying integers. So um, up until now, we've been adding, subtracting, adding and subtracting integers, and we've dealt with absolute value. So now we're going to be multiplying integers. So multiplication is repeated addition. So three times negative 40 means that negative 40 is used as an add end three times. So three times negative 40 is really like saying negative 40 plus negative 40 plus negative 40. Okay. It's just a faster way of doing it. By the commutative property of multiplication, three times negative 40 equals negative 40 times three. This and other similar examples demonstrate the rule for multiplying integers with different signs. So multiply two integers with different signs. The product of two integers with different signs is negative. Okay, so if I have a positive times a negative, I get a negative. If I have a negative times a positive, I get a negative. Okay, so they're different signs. So 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Negative 2 times 6 is negative 12. Okay, find each product. Negative 3 times 12. Well, they're different signs, so it's going to be a negative. And 3 times 12 is 36. 4 times negative 7, different signs. 4 times 7 is 28, and it's going to be negative. Okay, so let's try it. 7 times negative 8, well, they're different signs, so my answer is going to be negative. Negative. Yes, my answer is going to be negative. And then 7 times 8 is 56. Okay. For 1B, I have 6 times 12. Okay, so my answer is going to be negative. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. So I get 72. Key concept, multiply two integers with the same sign. The product of two integers with the same sign is positive. So two positive numbers equals a positive number. Two negative numbers multiplied together equal a positive number. So four times six is 24. Negative four times negative six equals 24. The product of two positive integers is positive. What is the sign of the product of two negative integers? Look at the pattern below. So one positive and one negative factor, so two and one, Negative 5 times 2, negative 5 times 1 is negative 10, negative 5. Okay, so I'm adding 5 each time. At 0, at 0. Each product is 5 more than the previous product, so two negative factors have positive products. So example 2, find each product. Negative 5 times negative 7, they're both negative, so my answer is going to be positive. 5 times 7 is 35. 8 times 14 both negative, so my answer is going to be positive, and it's 112. Okay, so let's try it. Negative 5 times negative 11 is positive, because there are two negatives right next to each other, and multiplying, and 5 times 11 is 55. Uh, for 2B, I have negative 13 times negative 4. Okay. So they're both positive, or they're both negative, so my answer is going to be positive. 13 times 4 is 52. Example 3. An airplane descends at a rate of 175 feet per minute. What is the airplane's change in altitude after 5 minutes? Write a multiplication expression, then find and interpret the product. So 5 minutes times the descent rate of 175 feet per minute is 5 times negative 175. So negative 5 times negative 175, I have opposite signs, so my answer is negative, negative 875. So the airplane descends 875 feet after 5 minutes. A scuba diver descends from the surface of the water at 7 feet per minute. What was the scuba, scuba diver's depth after 15 minutes? Write in a multiplication expression, then find and interpret the product. So he's going negative 7, as he's going down, he's descending. And then 15 minutes. So there's my expression is negative seven times 15. Okay, so this is going to be negative because I have one positive and one negative. And seven times 15 is 105. I can use the commutative and associative properties of multiplication to multiply more than two integers. 
So for example, four, find negative four times 12 times negative five. I use the associative property. So I multiply negative four times 12, which gives me negative 48, and then multiply that times negative five, which gives me 240. But also use a community property where I group the two negative numbers together. Negative four times negative five is 20, and then 20 times 12 is 240. Whichever one works best for you, okay? So let's try these problems. 4a is negative seven times nine times negative six. Okay. So negative seven times nine, seven times nine is 63, so that's negative 63, and then I'm just going to multiply that times negative 6, which gives me 378. Okay. And then I have negative 3 times negative 4, which gives me a positive 12. And then 12 times 5, negative 5, gives me a negative 60. Okay. So negative three times negative four is positive 12. Positive 12 times negative five gives me a negative 60. You also have algebraic expressions. You can use the rules of multiplying integers to simplify and evaluate algebraic expressions. So example five, I have simplified negative seven A times four B. So basically you multiply the numbers together and then the variables. They just kind of hang out. Okay. So seven times four is negative 28 and then A and B hang out because I have an A and a B. Okay. So let's try it. I have negative three times six Y. Well, negative three times six is negative 18. And then Y kind of hangs out, okay? Negative nine X times three. Well, nine times three is 27 and it's negative. So negative 27 and then I have an X and a Y. And hang out. Example six is to evaluate three x, y if x equals two and y equals negative six. So remember this is multiplication. So I'm multiplying three times my x times my y. In this case, three times two times negative six. Three times two is six. Six times negative six is negative 36. All right, so let's go ahead and try it. Evaluate two r, s if r equals five and s equals negative 10. So I'm doing two times five times negative 10. Well, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times negative 10 is negative 100. Okay. Uh, for 6b, evaluate 4ab if a equals negative 8 and b equals negative 4. So I have 4 times negative 8 times negative 4. Well, 4 times negative 8 is negative 32. Negative 32 times negative 4 gives me positive 128. And that is the end of Unit 1, Lesson 4.